Hey everyone, good morning. We got Nacho on the boat today, president of FSFA, and he's catching, I think it's a bonita. It's acting kind of funny, that'd be a kingfish. We also got Brian, the infamous tickle stick. We're getting ready to get in the water. It's mini season, 2022. Uh, got a report that it wasn't worth a damn offshore. Um, so we were out there and before we got in the water, we decided to turn around and come back in here. So we're gonna get in the water. Hopefully we catch some lobsters. Nacho's catching a bonita. <laughs> Trying to. We got him. That's a catch. Nacho has a points fish. <laughs> All right, more to come. Let's get in the water and we'll show you what we can do. All right, up from the first dive, we didn't get anything but two with eggs, but Headhunter got dinner. Hitch, what's in the bag? Hmm? Boat dog's always with us. All right, well, you wanna see what's in the bag? We got my favorite fish that swims in the ocean. Nice mangrove. And we got a hog. I saw you shoot that hog and I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> Usually when you ah, We got dinner. We're back on again. Captain Nacho, catching bonitas. Suited up, ready for round two. What do we got here? It's acting like Remora. Is it? Oh, it ain't very big. Oh, oh, got off. Loose. He gone. Good, the Remora got off. So, we'll try it again. Right behind you, over your shoulder. He gone, Hitch. Grind down, let's see what happens. Hitch, you wanna see what's in the bag? I forgot to open the bag up when I got up a little bit ago. This is Hitch's favorite part. Hitch, what's in the bag? Huh? What's in here? What's in the bag, Hitch? Come here. Where are you at? What's in here? Is there anything in there? What is that, Hitch? Get him. Let's get him. Dog, get him, Hitch. Get him. Hitch likes lobsters. That's a good dog. Good dog. Oh, we gotta keep her anyway. Is your dog this cool? Good job, Hitch. How's my hair? Brian, your hair looks great. So, we uh, suck at lobsters, but Brian, on the other hand, got us something to eat. He got a big ass permit. It didn't like the spear gun, so yeah, that one's gonna go in the fish bag and uh, we got something to eat, so. Can't kill the lobsters today. We did get one. Um, we got one tank left, so let's see if I can be the hero. But hey, we'll take a permit any day. Hey guys, we're here at the cleaning table. Um, go ahead and show you. We're gonna do a little catch, clean, and cook. Um, probably gonna maybe block in that permit, but we'll show you cleaning this snapper. We'll show you cleaning the hogfish and uh, the permit as well. Uh, three different species, so might as well uh, check them all out. So we'll start with the mangrove. All uh, right, decent little mangrove, and you know, just anybody just cut up behind the head, down by the through the cavity. Basically want to do this as surgical as possible. Oh, I forgot. We'll have to show you how to clean a lobster too. So this will be a clean it a lot uh, catch clean a lot and cook Bam. 
guys. Pop those uh, pin bones, come right over the top of the ribs. Cut it off. Let's clean that up a little bit of Lord knows what that is. I don't want any of the guts to get on the fillet, so with these mangroves, just flip it over and get it started. Use the skin to just kind of pull back and forth. Easy as peasy. And cut the pin bones out. bones right there, rib meat. Good to go. Beautiful mangrove snapper filet. Let's do the hogfish. Hi right, guys, we're back. Nice 18 inch and surprisingly a female hogfish. We don't get a whole, normally the females don't get all this big. Um, it's the big males that you see, but there is not a better fish in the ocean that swims that the head hunter likes to eat. This is my favorite. Trigger fish is a little secret, but... Hogfish... Doesn't mess around. Same premise with, as an all fish, just outline it and cut it. The, the fillets in these hogfish are so white compared to a mangrove. Now, you should more than likely gut your fish, or uh, not gut them, but um, be like uh, Dibs on bottom, Aaron Young. He brains them and bleeds them as soon as he catches them. Um, I, on the other hand, don't really do that. Should. At least. Um, bleed them out. But these hogfish, I'm going to show you here in a minute. Hose just busted and got me soaking wet. Look at that. I mean, absolutely beautiful white. If you can get any wider, maybe a black sea bass. But I'll tell you what, this right here is going to make me happy at the dinner table. Like I said, I think we're going to make permit tonight just because we got some friends coming over. And this is just enough for me and trophy wife to enjoy. Sorry, Hunter. My daughter Hunter is at uh, the Florida Wildlife Commission has a outdoor adventure camp. She is gone camp this week getting her volunteer hours she gets um 40 hours of volunteer time it's what they call a cit which is a counselor in training and so enough next year she can go back and actually be a counselor at the camp in uh, ocala so it's a great experience for her and she loves it and um but we do miss her but i tell you what that's the that's the bloodline side right there let me let's show you the comparison Here's the mangrove we just cleaned. There's the hogfish. I'll take that any day. We'll see it. Uh, permit's up next. All right, everybody. Here's Brian's permit. I have never cleaned one of these things before, so it looks like a big ass pompano, so I'm just gonna clean it like I do a pompano. We have heard these things are great eating, so we don't see very many of them up in our neck of the woods, you know, north of Sebastian Inlet. Uh, so when we do get them, it's a rarity. Um, some people say these things are game fish, but I like to eat fish. Snook's game fish too. And Snook's amazing fried if you've never tried it. So I'm just gonna outline this thing like I normally do. They got a little bit of a head meat like a dolphin does, so you wanna cut up as far as you can. And then I'm just gonna follow it down just like I do any other filet. And uh, see how this thing fillets out.
tried to see if it was good sashimi, but everything I'm seeing online is it's very similar to pompano and not the best sashimi, so maybe we won't have it that way. Trophy wife coming up to say hello. Oh, crap, my video. <laughs> <laughs> nope, just a fish. Sorry, I was... I was texting. After I cleaned the boat and didn't even get to go. That's why she's a trophy wife, y'all. <laughs> Maybe Sunday. Oh, and I have your flip-flops on because I didn't want to go inside because Clipper would cry to come out. At least Hitch got to play with a lobster today. Didn't get to play with a whole lot of them, but he did get to play. All right, now, I don't know about cutting over these ribs since I don't know really what I'm doing. I'm just gonna probably break the ribs, break the pen belts. No, maybe that one will be pretty hard. backwards a little bit and see where the bones start. I think they'd be that bad, but it might be. Like we did the mangrove, we just gotta go over the top up. There we go. Look at that, it's pretty meat. Hmm. Um I think we're gonna try and skin this. Go ahead and cut the bloodline out of it, pin bones. And we'll try and skin two separate times. That stuff's pretty firm. I bet this stuff is good sushi. I'm gonna try it. We'll um show you guys at the dinner table and we'll try it and see if it's any good at sashimi but real delicate skin so you definitely don't want to push down too hard I'm gonna kind of just take it easy rock this back and forth and not go too deep to try and make sure I don't cut the skin yep see I did but you get the gist. Pretty meat. Um, it's actually kind of firm. They said it was supposed to be pretty light, but it's not. But I think we're going to try some sashimi and see how it turns out. So I'll show you the lobster here in a minute. All right, guys. Last but not least, I'm going to try to do this without gloves. Florida spiny lobster. So these things are pretty easy to clean. You can just really wring their, wring their uh, tails off. But I like taking a knife and cutting all the way around them. That way you don't lose any meat in there in the head. Flip him over. This one's still alive, so it's not really cooperating a whole lot. And do the same. Try not to cut yourself. And then grab him by his head, tail, twist, and pull. So, with lobsters too, break off one of their antennas and this is mini season today day two of mini season 2022 you'll probably see 50 YouTube videos of people out today but you stick that in pull it out you get the poop and she's ready to eat so we'll see you in the kitchen hi guys back in the kitchen permit chef Paul soy sauce and wasabi we're about to throw down here so this stuff looks really good so we're going to kind of portion it out um probably do that sashimi 
like that, and that blackened. Stuff's a little, mm, no, you know what, it's not too bad. Let's go ahead and tell you what. We don't want too big of a piece of sashimi. Let's cut that. I mean, look at that, it's so beautiful. Trophy wife and Miss Janet for dinner tonight. Amazon. <laughs> All right, who's gonna do the first piece, Janet? Sure. Am I allowed to film it? <laughs> uh, I don't think we have any chopsticks. You might have to use forks. Oh, I think that's some in the back. Did you look in the back? I did. I didn't see any. I don't know if I can eat chopsticks. Don't know how to use them. That's all right. We'll go with a fork. Okay. So, set it up here for Miss Janet. Here's your fork. Let's see if it's edible. You're braver than I. Why, you don't think so? I've never had that, so I was waiting for somebody else. White fish. It's a little hard. A little chewy? Mm -hmm. It's good, though. Really mild. Today, really mild. Mm. So, I think Google's right. It's not a whole lot of flavor to it. Mm -hmm. um, it's a firm fish, it's good, but not a whole lot of flavor, so it's not um, the best. So, since it's not the, the best tasting, I think now that's where the Seafood magic, old Chef Paul is going to come in and uh, make it taste much better. So, I think you nope. can season it with whatever you want. Season it. I want you to season it here. We got Chef Paul. Go real liberal on this stuff. Rub it in. We've got a couple long pieces. over and do both sides and then we'll get that in the olive oil in the skillet and we will get it cooking here in a minute hey guys lobsters split this one we're gonna cook the one we got um, just do it simple a little marigold butter pack it in there and then key lime citrus sea salt can't be in the keys and Chuck when you watch this you suck because you went both days and limited out and some of us had to do it the hard way up here and not catch he one lobster suck. he took an opportunity and it was the right one that's nah, Chuck Chuck sucks do nothing but love him? Chuck do you him? so right. basically we're gonna take this we'll walk it out here and we're gonna put this one on the Traeger while we cook the rice, and um, oh, hi, Clipper. You want the lobster, Clipper? No. Psych. It's a big ass dog. So the Traeger's smoking. 
never done a lobster on the Traeger, but I see plenty of them done all the time, so we're gonna open it up. Throw it right there, get it a good smoke, let it cook, and uh, we'll see it when it's done. All right, ready to cook, skillet smoking. I'm gonna put this on here. Nice. Let it cook, crisp up, flip it, and it'll be done. All right, time to flip it. Keep it nice and chunky black. Yep, perfect. Flip that one over. All right, let her cook another five minutes or so and we'll be ready to eat. All right guys, here's the reveal on the lobster on the Traeger. Looks freaking amazing. So, take that out, plate it up. Take it in, carve it up, eat it. All right guys, finishing up here. Beautiful permit, lobster, yellow rice. And Miss Janet getting dinner. So enjoy. Hope you guys liked the video. Like and subscribe. And keep them coming. Peace out.